Hello guys, Shana here. Um, today I'm going to answer some of your questions about how you get tight rows and flips out of a quadcopter uh, using LibrePilot or if you're on the older version of Lib uh, OpenPilot um, or still likes to call it Open Toilet. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give you some of the settings today to get those tight flips and rolls. Uh, whether you're in stabilization mode or acro, um, you can do it in both. So I'll walk you through that. Um, obviously, first thing you always need to make sure that your firmware is up to date. The latest firmware obviously will give you more features, better stabilization, uh, and obviously try and take out some of the oscillation. And obviously, the PIDs will be the standard PIDs will be better finely tuned. Um, we're going to be using one of my old CC3D boards. This is a uh, Revo. Um, it's got some wires hanging off the back of it. Uh, it was wired for Spectrum Satellite. So uh, obviously if you're going to use Tyrannus, something like that, it's it's obviously the wire is going to be different. So, um, But as you can see, this is plugged in. This one works. Um, if we look at the screen, move it around. Yeah, this was a working CT3. It still is, I just don't use it anymore. So, um, so yeah, so when you go into settings, we need to also set this one up, go into configurations. Uh, under your inputs, obviously you do your arming settings, you know, which is quite straightforward. Uh, now, if you go into flight modes, um, over here, you've got how many flight modes you can have. Now, if you're on a low end spectrum, you only get sort of two switches, so you'd need to drop that to two. If you're on like a DX8 or DX9, you know you can get three, four, however you need. And obviously with a Tyrannus, um, three three toggle switches is the way to go. Um, I tend really, I generally tend to leave position one and two uh, pretty much as is there. So stabilize one, stabilize two, bank one, bank one. Uh, I tend not to change the difference in rates between uh, different flight modes because then it becomes confusing and you end up with a quad that responds really quickly in one then really woolly in the other and it gives you kind of a weird perception of what's going on so one minute you're nice and flying smoothly and as soon as you flick to the next one where you're going to get your flips and rows from it's almost like double the speed. So if you can kind of learn with one speed in both modes, relatively a fast speed, you're going to do much better, and you'll get you know you get further with it. So it's down here we need to look at obviously your stabilization mode. Uh, attitudes tend not to use because it's it's fully stabilized and there's no flips and rows. So what we need to do is change that to attitude, which will allow your whole copper to be stabilized. But as soon as you go past 90 degrees. On your pitch and roll, um, it will do the full 360. So what we're going to do is roll our attitude pitch, or attitude. Leave yours uh, as axis lock. On the thrust, we're going to change it to cruise control. Now what it'll actually do is once your drone gets past a certain point in degrees, where the point where it's going to be upside down it will actually drop the throttle for you, whether you're halfway up the stick or not. It will drop zero the throttle for you, but without stopping the motors, so you're not going to push the quad into the floor. Uh, so that's, so you need that as cruise control, and obviously on stabilized two, we're gonna go Acro Plus, Acro Plus. Leave it that on manual, and that one on your thrust on manual as well. So if we save that, That'll be fine. So that's your switches set up. Stabilize one, stabilize two. That's all you need there. On your stabilization screen here, now if you use, we're only using bank one because we want to keep the modes the same speed between each other so there's, there's no confusion. Um, we're going to pull the attitude all the way up to. About 120 would be nice. So we're just under the insane mark. Your rate mode, 
we need that 700 and plus. So for this, we'll set it at 700. Uh, and your rate will do about 475. Okay, and save that. Now, the only reason I've done it on that page, because you, obviously we're going to go into the advanced page, but doing it on the sliders there is just easier to set up. So if we have a look, we've got attitude 120, rate 700, your 475. Now, if you go up the top and click on advanced mode, then click on use advanced mode, all the values that you've put in from the first page are already entered on here. But what we need to look at is this underneath, the 300, the 300, and the 300. So on your, we're only really interested in the roll and the pitch. Now this is degrees per second. For when, if you're in the ratio mode and obviously you're doing flips, this is degrees per second. So 300 degrees per second is obviously, it's quick, but it's, you know, it's not breakneck speeds by any mean. So if you up this uh, to 1080 and the same on the pitch, then your rows are going to be very fast. So literally you get three in a second if you had uh, the expo on your spectrum or you're trying to set to maximum, you would get three three rows or three four of all backflips in a second uh, and leave it on that. Of course, on this at the moment, we're, we're running state, uh, standard PIDs. There's no tune that you know, obviously you might need to tune it to get any oscillation out if from when you're hovering. Uh, you'll see if you've got any option there, you obviously need to lower the P or raise the P or add some D. I mean, that's completely up to you. But I find from standard PIDs uh, and using those advanced settings, it works fine. It works absolutely fine. So, yeah, so try that. Um, th those speeds will be obviously available to you in Rattitude and in Acro. The, the response of the quad won't change in speed, um, but it will flip a row really fast. So give that a whirl, um, send us your feedback, uh, like, subscribe, you know the deal guys. Uh, let me know. Cheers.